Hello everyone, this is Teacher V and welcome here on my channel. Our lesson for today is about describing proportions. Grade 9 Mathematics, Quarter 3, Week 5. So what is a proportion? Proportion means it is a statement that would describe equality of two ratios. Again, equality of two ratios. Dalawang ratio na equal. And it can be an expression of two equal fractions such as A over B is equal to C over D. Or in column form, A is to B as C, C is to D. So may dalawang paraan para ipakita natin yung proportion. Una, yung paggamit natin ng fractions, katulad nito. At pangalawa, yung sa column form. And remember, pinag-aralan na ninyo ito nung kayo ay grade 5. Meron tayong tinatawag na means and extremes sa proportion. Sa fractional form, yung A and D ang tinatawag nating extremes, while B and C yung means. Sa column form, ayan, yung dalawang nasa dulo, yun na extremes, and yung dalawang magkatabi, ay pagitan lang nila ay yung equal sign, yun ang tinatawag nating means. At, two ratios are said to be equal well, if the cross products of the ratios are equal. So, kapag nag-cross multiply tayo, tapos equal yung lumabas, ibig sabihin nun, proportion. Or, pupwede rin na kapag sa colon form, pag equal yung product ng extremes sa product ng means, that is also called as proportion. So, let's have more examples related to this. So, the following ratios can be reduced to the same value. Okay, we have 6 is to 9 or 6 over 9. So, pwedeng colon form, pwedeng fractional form. Yung pagsulat natin ng ating ratio. At itong ratio na to ay pwede natin ma-reduce or ma-lowest term. Katulad ng ginagawa natin sa fraction. Isip tayo ng number na pwedeng i-divide sa kanila pareho. Okay, tama kayo nang iniisip. Pwede natin silang i-divide pareho sa 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So therefore, the simplest form is 2 is to 3 or 2 thirds. Okay, ganon natin pwede i-simplify yung ating mga ratios. Isipin lang natin siya or i-treat lang natin siya as fraction. Kung paano tayo nagla-lowest term sa fraction, ganun ang gagawin natin dito. And ratios that can be reduced to the same value are called equivalent ratios. So ito na ngayon, equivalent ratios means proportion. We can say that 6 is to 9 as 2 is to 2, 3. So equal sila dahil nakita naman natin na ang simplest form ng 6 over 9 is 2 thirds. At try natin ipag-multiply yung kanilang mga means and extremes. Unahin natin yung means. So, 9 times 2 is 18. And yung extreme, yung nasa dalawang dulo na number, 6 times 3 is 18. Makikita natin na equal yung product ng means and extreme. So, therefore, this is equivalent ratios or proportion. Let's have our given x is equal to 6, y is equal to 18, and z is equal to 15. What we natin is to give each ratio in simplest form. Gagamitin natin itong mga given na nandito sa taas. Unahin natin itong letter A, x over y. So substitute natin yung x, which is 6, then yung y, which is 18. So i-simplify lang natin or i-lowest term lang natin. 6 over 18, anong number ang pwede i-divide sa kanila pareho? Pwede silang i-divide sa 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 18 divided by 6 is 3. So therefore, the simplest form of 6 over 18 is 1 thirds or 1 is to 3. Letter B, Y to Z. So meaning, get the value of Y which is 18. Okay, 18 is to Z. So, the value of C is 15. So, 18 is to 15. We're going to write it into fraction para mas madali natin malawis term. 
So, ano ang pwedeng i-divide sa kanila pareho? Okay, tama kayo. Pwede natin silang i-divide sa 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6 and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, the simplest form of 18 is to 15 is 6 over 5 or 6 is to 5. Next, letter C. X plus Z is to Y. Palitan lang natin yung mga value nitong mga variables natin based dito sa given. Ang X natin is 6. Yung Z natin is 15. So, 6 plus 15 is 2. Okay, then yung ating Y. 6 plus 15 is 21. Is to 18. Then, pwede ulit natin itong isimplify. Gawin lang natin fraction. Ano ang pwede natin i-divide sa kanila pareho? Pwede natin sila i-divide sa 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. So, the answer, 7 over 6 or... 7 is to 6. So, na natandaan nyo na kung paano mag-simplify ng ating mga ratios or ng mga fractions. So, tandaan nyo yan kasi mahalaga yan sa pagkuha or sa pagsusolve natin ng proportion. Find the value of x in the following proportions. So, let's say we have two ratios na. So, may dalawa na tayong ratio. At kukunin natin yung mga unknown na value niya. Let's say we have 9 over x is equal to 15 over 20. Ano dapat ang maging value ng x para masabi nating proportion itong letter A natin? So, ang gagawin lang natin is we're going to cross multiply. 9 times 20 and x times 15. So, cross multiply lang tayo. Then, simplify natin. 9 times 20 is 180. x times 15 is 15x. We need to get the value of x. Kaya, i-divide natin pareho sa 15 para makancel ang 15 at matira ang x. So, 180 divided by 15, the answer is 12. So therefore, our x is 12. So, let's check if we get the correct answer. Cross-multiply lang natin. 9 times 20, 180. Then, yung x natin ay 12. So, 12 times 15, Okay, the answer is also 180. So, equal na yung kanilang cross products. So, this is a proportion. So, x should be 12. Next. x plus 3 over 4 is equal to 9 over 2. Again, cross multiply lang tayo ulit. x plus 3 times 2. Okay, this is it. Then, 4 times 9. Cross multiply. x times 2 is 2x. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 9 is 36. And then, move na lang natin yung 6 to the other side. Magiging negative na siya. Okay, maiiwan sa side na to yung 2x. 36 minus 6 is 30. Then, get the value of x or solve for x. We need to divide both sides to 2 para ma-cancel yung 2 at maiwan yung x. 30 divide by 2 the answer is 15. So, therefore, our x is 15. How about if we have this problem? Maria reads 20 pages in 15 minutes. At this rate, how many pages will she read in 60 minutes? So, how are we going to solve this word problem? Solution, we need to identify the elements in the problems. As you can see, it's about the pages per minute. So, kung gano'ng karami, page yung nababasa niya sa kada minuto. Then, and according sa ating problem, yung 20 pages ay nababasa niya ng 15 minutes. So, 20 pages per 15 minutes. Yun yung unang given. Pero, ang question, how many pages will she read in 60 minutes? So, gawa tayo ng panibagong ratio dito sa kabila, equal lang natin sila, then x pages. Bakit x? Kasi hindi natin alam how many pages. So, unknown. So, lagyan na lang muna natin ng x. Tapos, pagdating naman sa oras, may binigay, which is 60 minutes. Then, pwede na natin itong masolve, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, magko-cross multiply lang tayo. Okay. So, nagkaroon na tayo ng proportion statement. At, Pwede na natin yung 
is solved. So, 20 times 60, so yung kinuras multiply lang, 20 times 60, then 15 times x. 20 times 60 is 1,200 is equal to 15 times x, 15x. And we divide both sides to 15 para makancel at maiwan yung x. 1,200 divided by 15, the answer is 80. So, therefore, ang x natin is 80. Meaning, there are 80 pages Maria can read in 60 minutes. Okay? So, pag nagsosolve kayo ng mga word problems related sa proportion, itong tatlong steps ang tatandaan ninyo. Okay, identify yung elements or yung sinasabi sa problem. Gumawa tayo ng proportion statement or ganito, yung equal or two ratios na equal. Then, cross multiply. Yun lang naman ang kailangan natin sa proportion. Magko-cross multiply lang tayo para malaman natin yung x. So, dalawa lang palagi ang operation na involved dito. Times and divide. Okay? So, tandaan yan. And that's it for today. So, I hope na makatulong to at napakahalaga na alam nyo ang proportion kasi sa mga susunod na lessons, pag nag-solve na tayo, i-apply natin itong concept about proportion. So, wag na wag na wag nyo skip to. I mean, kailangan nyo alamin muna to para hindi kayo mahirapan sa mga susunod na topic. So, that's it for today. I hope na makita ko kayo ulit sa susunod kong video. And don't forget to like and share this to your classmates and friends para matuto din sila sa mathematics. Follow me also on Facebook, we teach channel, and you can also send my, your queries or questions regarding this topic. Thank you so much and keep safe everyone. Goodbye!